Welcome to Creatively Exposed, a conversation for creatives, introverts, sapiosexuals, and all of the people entertained and who love us. I am Liz Flo, the podcast host, poet, writer, and overall Afro-Caribbean Latina creative. I know that is a mouthful, but welcome to the show. Mana! So, (laughs) it's Latin Heritage Month, and so I know it's like the 20th of September, but for those of you who enjoy the Latino community in all of the spectrum, let us celebrate, let us commemorate um, reggaeton del momento that I am feeling, I would say Joeli Randi, and I think it's called Perreo. Hold on. It's in my music. Um, Perreo, there, there's been like a, a, a wave of old school reggaeton coming back. They even put an album that I have been looking for everywhere. I call them albums. Y'all know I'm over 30, so... A reggaeton album, Watawa Triple X. And when it gets to reggaeton, this is where my ratchet comes out. So, not sorry. Eh, Dembo, Joel y Grande. Yes, I think it's Perreo. It has an old school vibe to it. And that's what I've been feeling. It is very explicit. So, like, this is not for kids. Viva el Perreo. There we go. Um, who else? We see, no. Yandel dropped, um, Quien Contra Mi that has also old songs revamped with the new artists. So that is fun. And if you are not following and you love Perreo, um, on Twitter, La Gata, eh, she be put me on. Ivy Queen has a new song out. Like, yo, get your life together. Eh, la gata, el perreo con la gata. Déjame ver. Perreo con la gata, I believe it is. Um, those are just, she's, she's the one who be keeping me on point with the new music, putting me on. I'm just like, okay, all right, that's dope. She is at Una Gata Sata or Reggaeton X Gata. I'll also put that in the notes. Reggaeton X Gata is like the actual um, music account and discussions about, you know, what's going on in music, Afro Latinidad which is definitely my jam. So that's a little something for Latin Heritage Month. For those who miss Bad Bunny's show, I also say it at the end, but oprime ahí. All right, so have a great week and enjoy the show. Hello, y'all. I am in a different part of my home, so you might hear different sounds in the background. Hopefully, it's not too crazy. I was in the middle of editing <laughs> a an old interview that I have with a voice actor, podcast um, creator, an all-around creative However, you know, edits and overlaps and the learning experience, it continues. So what do I have for you today? I actually went on a mini spur of the moment trip to the Hanan Center um, where their motto is age out loud. And that is where I have my poem in the communal room where everyone adds to 
the grandmother exhibit. And so that is really cool to see. And um, I was able to actually read my poem, which was really nice. Um, it reminded me, because I haven't been on stage for, you know, a little over six months. Shout out to COVID. Jeez. Um, it was nice to remember the feeling of joy that I receive from when the whole room goes quiet to listen to me recite my poem in celebration and love for my grandmother and our pretty dope connection. Um, it was really nice. I've never been to Detroit. Driving in Detroit is a good time. Um, <laughs> especially when you don't know where you're going. But it was an experience that I can say. And it was, it's a blessing that I am, well, now I got a quarantine, but I'm also feeling good and just, I'm amazed to have my work in an exhibition. And so it ends at the end of this month, September. And y'all, it's it's a new week. Um, there might be like some, some hard aspects astrologically. So, you know, with patience, take things with a grain of salt, unless, you know, if you really gotta act a fool to get results like my bestie would say, then that it is what it is. I don't know what what's on my mind today. I just know I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired. I have been up since like four in the morning because I wanted to make sure I got home in time. And I am in a period, you know what? I am in a period of transitions and hence why I'm in a different part of my house, hoping that the acoustics isn't too bad. But what do you do during transitions? Are you able to create? Are you a is there enough space for you to transition? Because right now on like a literal level, space, maybe the use of space is where I am having complications, let's say. Um, and so I think about this in a multi-level way. I have been discussing this with my therapists. Y'all, if you don't know by now, I got more than one. Um, one on uh, talk space, which has led me to my now virtual, but previously in-person art therapist, which... Sometimes things overlap, but they're two different perspectives that I receive without being overloaded. So that's, it's just dope to me. But I've been thinking about making space and the use of space. Sometimes when all of this new stuff comes my way, I don't really know what to do with all of it. And so it feels like chaos is happening, but it's good chaos, you know? And uh, what is the emotional space that may need creating? This is something that I'm thinking about visiting within my own thought processes. We want change and want... I don't know, I want change and I want joy and to feel celebration and to be victorious in even in these times, to thrive, right? <clears throat> and how do we thrive without making space for play, making space for failure, making space for growing pains, and making space for self. 
it's it's a bizarre thought process, and I may have spoken about this before, but the idea of fearing your own success. But that's really real. And in life, because it can be in, you know, you might have this wonderful new, I don't know, relationship or a new project that you're getting to completion. And so I've just been thinking like, what mindset no longer belongs anymore? Am I willing to release it in order to experience the newness that's coming in? And it's really on all levels. And I am so, so grateful for every single thing. Even if I feel like I'm meeping. Um, But in these risks and in these experiences, do you really fail or lose? Not really. What may look like a failure to somebody is actually you figuring out, okay, it doesn't really work this way for me, but I can do this or I can pivot or I can change. And I think it's being malleable, being malleable with the way that life conducts itself. I'm about to get real scientific. You know how like in school there's certain metals that conduct electricity and I'm just like, okay, water also carries electricity. We're made of water. And so are we allowing ourselves to flow? Are we allowing the electricity of the universe to flow through us and lead us to where we're supposed to go? Or are we creating this stone wall of it's always been this way and it's always going to be this way. And it's, I'm doing a lot of scary things. I have the crystal shop, which y'all already know you're going to get tired of hearing me talk about it, but it's a business and I'm working and figuring out and reconfiguring and you know, sometimes I, I, people come to me as if I know what I'm doing <laughs> and I'm just like, but I have an idea and I'm running off of that idea and I'm researching and I'm figuring out as I go what works, what doesn't work. Um, and so I'm doing my best to be malleable and sometimes I'm rock, sometimes I'm metal, sometimes I'm flowing water. And I think we just give yourself grace, uh, write stuff down. I know that the new moon happened recently, but still like write down what you want in the next month. And I have to do this as well. I'm more like visualizing right now versus writing down, but do you believe everything that you desire can come true? Why or why not? And the why not and the whys, how do we unlearn those? How do we allow space for hope and possibility? How do we allow transition to happen while learning to let go of yesterday? These are the things that I've been, this has kind of been the theme for for the last few weeks, actually. It's also probably because I'm, you know, I'm 32 now. And (laughs) so, I'm thinking about life and what what should 33 look like? What what goals have I wanted to reach that I have maybe even surpassed? I didn't think that I would have a business. I didn't think um I didn't think I'd be this far and so 
it has been a hard year and um, I have many new beginnings.